Well, let's go guys, Pixelplay2215 here, and today, um, I recently upgraded to Windows 11, as you guys can see down here at the taskbar, and I downloaded Windows 10 Home, as you can see right here. Now, I want to switch to Pro, but I don't want to pay for it, and I don't want to reset my whole computer. So what do I do? Well, first, um, all the links will be down in the description below. Alright, so you want to go to this link up here and go Windows 11 Home to Windows 11 Pro and click Download. Wait for the website to load. Click on Direct Download. And there you go, so it's all downloaded. Go ahead, click Extract All and Extract. Now I could say personally, I love Windows 10, or sorry, Windows 11 much better. So then what you want to do is, I'm actually just going to go ahead and minimize this. Alright, so you see I have Windows uh, 11 Home there, right? So right above my head. So I'm going to go to Windows2Pro.bat, and I'm going to run as admin. Okay, run as administrator. Let it load. You want to click more info, run anyways. And when it pops up, you want to say yes. I know the screen just went black, but that's fine. Keep it on the word home. Now, no editing here. Keep it on the word home. It should switch to pro. And my activation status should go from active to not active. All right, so just uh, wait for that to go. All right, just keep waiting. There you go. See how it just went to pro and now it's not activated. All right, so now once it's done, now it says active. All right, so then you want to close out. Okay, now that says pro and it's active. Now, if you want to make sure it's activated, you could go to this website here, kb.tv.asia and all of that. And what you want to do is click on your start button and go to Windows Terminal Admin and click yes when it opens. Minimize that for right now. Alright, so you got Windows PowerShell right here. Uh, let me just turn off my camera. Right, oop. Okay. And go here and paste. It's going to say warning. Just click on paste anyways. Then do this one here. Do the same thing. And same thing for this one. Go ahead, click paste anyways. And click enter. And now you should be all good. Alright, since mine was already activated, I just want to make sure... Uh, otherwise, you should get a pop-up like this. Installed product key was successful. Alright. Then um, this was successful as well. And this was product activated successfully. Alright, so now, if I... I'm just going to go ahead and uh, quit Opera. Uh, you guys could use anything, uh, any web browser you want. I'm just going to go ahead go back to my settings with the Windows I button. Okay, then you want to go to System, scroll down to Activation, and as you can see, Windows 11 Pro, and it's active. Windows is activated. And then you have your product ID right there, and your product key will say no product key found. That's perfectly fine. You're still activated, meaning you have all of your things. Now you can go ahead Go to display, you can customize now, do anything you want, and personalization. Because upon me personally downloading uh, Windows 11 for the first time, I wasn't able to personalize anything until I activated. But as you can see, I could all do this. And this is 100% free, guys. No, no payments, no paywalls nothing all right so there you go a little quick tutorial uh if you guys did enjoy this quick little tutorial 
Please smash that like button. Ooh, hold on. Oh, yeah. Please smash that like button. Comment down below what I do in the next video slash stream. See you guys next time. Peace out, everyone.